Good morning, family of fast. Matt Mossman, the Chief Endurance Officer over at Endure Elite. You know what? I've been getting a lot of questions lately about animal-based diets versus vegan diets, with the vegan saying meat eaters are barbaric, and from the other side, vegan just is Latin for lousy hunter. So I'm not going to open this whole can of worms today. We're going to save that for a later date. But I actually had an interesting study come across my desk comparing a uh, vegan diet compared to a more like animal-based diet. And that's what we're really going to discuss today. And what this study looked at is how three weeks on a vegan diet after being on an animal-based diet affected things like body composition, strength, endurance, VO2 max, and all this other stuff. So let's just, let's just get right into the details here. And I have it pulled up in front of me. So this study was from the proceedings of the 15th International Society of Sports Nutrition Conference and Expo in Clearwater, Florida. And the study of the title was Effects of a Short-Term Vegan Diet on Fitness and Body Composition. So please keep in mind that this is very short-term, that, that, that the information we're going to discuss doesn't necessarily apply to the long-term. So just remember that as we discuss this study. And this was done out of St. Ambrose University in Davenport, Iowa. Iowa, my home state, go Hawkeyes, or Cyclones if you like them. So, a little bit of the background on the study, it just says, vegan diets refrain from the consumption of all animal products. Yeah, no, no shit. People may choose a vegan diet for health, performance, or ethical reasons. Um, it's, it's increased in popularity over the last few years, it seems like, um, but there's really been little research comparing a vegan diet to more animal-based diets uh, when it comes to general fitness. They mentioned max strength, cardio respir respiratory endurance, muscular endurance, and body composition. So they go on to say, the purpose of this study was to see what happens when a person on an uh, animal-based diet switched to a uh, vegan diet for three weeks and then comparing that to a group that remained on the animal-based diet. Um, so here's what they did. Now the sample size isn't very big on this, so again keep that in mind. These were uh, 12 physically active college students volunteered for this study and they were randomly divided into two groups. One was the vegan group, and then one was the control group, which is basically like the regular diet they were following that was more heavily animal-based um, as opposed to a lot of vegetables. So uh, before they did like all the pre-testing on all these variables, which we'll discuss in a little bit, uh, they kept a diet log for three days to kind of determine what a typical diet is. This is pretty standard when you're doing uh, like a diet intervention in a study. Um, and then they also kept track of what they were eating using my uh, fitness pal. Uh, then after that, both groups underwent a pre-fitness and body composition assessment. So the assessment here included height, weight, blood pressure, body fat percentage, one rep max on the squat bench press, a push-up to failure test, and a VO2 max test or a 1.5 mile run. So after they did all this pre-testing, pre the groups, one group again was put into an, basically a vegan diet group, and the other group just kept their normal diet, which after looking at the numbers was again more animal-based. And they did this for three weeks, so followed vegan or animal-based diet for three weeks, and then they came back in for post-testing to test all these variables over again. Um, so what they found after they crunched all the numbers and ran a, a few tests with t-tests, which is a, a statistical test, which is very, very solid actually. Here is what they found, and I'm gonna quote this exactly. For the experimental group, the, the group that went vegan for three weeks, mean weight decreased significantly by 3.4 pounds, but there was also a significant decrease in total calories consumed protein calories consumed, and fat take intake. But beyond that, and this is where it's interesting, no statistically significant differences were seen for the control group mean value. So no difference in strength, no difference in, in cardio respiratory endurance, and no differences in VO2 max. Now again, this study was only three weeks long, and um, yeah, with 12 subjects, so it's again not 
a super solid study, but it does give us some insight into thinking, well, maybe there's really not a whole lot of difference in terms of performance when it comes to a, like an animal-based diet or a plant-based diet in, in the short term. But beyond that, the, the really the main point is, is like, if you like an animal-based diet, freaking fantastic. If you like a vegan diet, absolutely fantastic. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. And I'll link an article that we currently have on our blog that goes into more detail about this. But at the end of the day, it's really what works for you. And if you feel like you're performing well on any certain diet and you can stick to it, that's all that really matters. So let's just stop the bullshit about the animal-based diet being better than the vegan diet and having a clashing of, <laughs> clashing of heads all the time. Just stick with what works for you. If you're performing well, again, to repeat myself, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can get an adequate protein and adequate calories from both diets to still perform well. So rant over. That is all I have for today, my endurance friends. If you have a buddy that likes animal meat or is a vegan, which I'm guessing you know you have friends that meet one of those criteria, please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, supplementation, other random musings, and busting the bullshit, subscribe to the Endure Elite YouTube channel or head on on over to the Endure Elite blog at www.endureelite.com. Get social with us on Instagram and our super awesome family of fast Facebook page. And until next time, endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.